go. All right. So the first card we have is the seven of seven of rods. So this is in the position of what is going to help ground you in this um, new new moon energy. Um, the seven of wands, seven of rods. Okay. So right now you might be feeling a little bit, um, you know, like you're struggling to to you know you're really busy. There's a lot that's been going on. Um, you've been fighting to stay on top. You're, you're, you're trying, you're doing your best. You've been doing your best. Okay. And in order to be grounded in this, uh, energy, you do need to stay focused. You do need to stay and continue, um, to stay on top, to stay on top of your game, to continue to go to work through, um, your obstacles and to face them and to conquer them. And you will remain on top. And this energy is going to help you. It'll feel less, maybe less harsh uh, than, it, than it has been. This new moon energy will help ground you. It's going to help make you feel more stable, um, more balanced, more in control of your life. So either, you know, this new moon is going to help ease up any of this, um, these challenges that you've been going through, um, but continue to face and go forward with those challenges. And you guys are already have been doing that, it seems. But if you uh, continue to do that, you're going to feel very grounded. So if you do, if you are feeling really unstable in this energy right now, um, continue forward and stay busy uh, and continue to fight those challenges. As hard as it may feel, um, continue to go forth because it's actually going to do the opposite. It's going to make you feel grounded opposed to exhausted. So the next energy we have here is the Ace of Rods, another Rods card for you. And this is in regards to what is going to help make a clear path for you to actually move forward. And this is the card. It's the Ace of Rods. You're actually going to be receiving some kind of new beginning. Some kind of new passion is going to arise within you. Um, it's, it's, it could be a relationship. It could be a new idea. It could be a new start a new opportunity that arises and now you just need to take action and go forward to do it. So you would just need to accept, accept this opportunity and move forward. And this opportunity that is given to you in this beautiful new moon energy, um, is going to provide you with a brand new space, a brand new direction to move forward in your life. That's fantastic. So this hard work is going to pay off this focus, this, um, is going to keep you grounded and it's going to make something maybe out of the blue happen. That's even unrelated. So by staying strong, by staying um, positive, by continuing on, uh, it's going to somehow bring you a new opportunity that you might not even knew, know that was coming your way. Okay. The next card we have is the temperance card. She's here. And this is going to be, how to, how to connect with this new moon energy. And they're saying, be the temperance, be that, uh, the temperance, use your intuition that is going to connect you, uh, into the power, into the power and energy of the new moon. So it's going to, it's saying, use your intuition, go in, um, trust your intuition, listen to yourself and be aware of your, uh, gift of, uh, knowing and, um, your ability to tap in to a higher self, your higher self. This is going to really, really help you connect with, um, this new moon energy to help move forward in your life. Okay. In this, in this new direction. Um, we also have the Hierophant and the Hierophant's in reverse. And this is in the position of kind of what's going to help give magic to this, to this new beginnings and this new, this energy we have. And the Hierophant is in reverse. So it's basically saying, you know what? Do things a little differently than you normally do. Okay. Why not? You know, it's a new, it's a new energy. It's a new moon. Um, do things a little out of the ordinary than your mundane, normal way of doing stuff. Um, see things in a different way, do things in a different way. This is going to help bring about magic in your, uh, in your life. You already have this beautiful new magic coming in here, which is a beautiful new passion, a new feeling, a new, new feeling of desire. It could be a relationship. It could be, you know, anything. And then you're going to have this amazing ability 
to step up your intuition to a point where you're really going to be able to tap into it in a different way than you have before. And now you've got this fun card here, the magical card that says, do things differently, try things differently, listen to things differently, listen to others differently, um, read things. When you read things, think about it in a different way. Okay. And then the next card we have here is the high priestess and the high priestess is in reverse. So the high priestess is, um, a card of she's in reverse. So she's, she's a little bit unable to tap in. She's really is a little bit unable to tap in right now, but it's in the position of surrendering and trusting. You may not have the ability right now to, um, know, which direction to go or know what's going to come what's going to be coming ahead for you. So you might actually have to really trust in this new moon energy. You might have to say, you know what? I don't know what's going to be, you know, what's in store for me once I start this new project or take this new opportunity. Maybe you don't know how, how, how it's going to turn out because maybe you might be doing things differently. You might take this opportunity. It might be an opportunity of something that you've never done before and that you're not really sure if you could do, but it's being presented to you, presented to you and you're going to take it, but it may not be in a way where again, you, you, you may not be able to have the ability to understand or to know exactly how it's going to turn out, or you may not be able to really know what what's in store for you, but it's okay. The universe and you know, the moon, this, the, you know, this reading is telling you the advice is telling you, it doesn't matter. You don't have to know because you're supposed to, they want you to surrender. They want you to use your trust because sometimes we can't always know you guys. I know we want to, but especially cancer. I mean, you guys are so, um, tapped in, you know, to the moon and to the energies of the moon. But for whatever reason, this moon is not going to really allow you the opportunity to have the normal, um, you know, availability to know what's going to, what's going to be coming ahead. So again, um, you're going to be really balanced. You're going to be very balanced. You're going to be very centered. You're going to have a lot of optimism. You're really having a lot of positive feelings about this. It's like you have the positive feeling. Okay. It's like, you know, you're going to be able to do it. You are going to, you are, you are, you're balanced. You're ready, physically ready. You're balanced in your mind, body, and soul. And it's something different, you guys. It's something so different from what you normally have done. What you're, It goes against kind of the normal way you've thought or the normal way that you've done things. And it's kind of exciting. And that's going to bring magic to you. It's going to bring a sense of magical feelings of like excitement and newness. And this new passion is going to just double. It's going to be magnified. But for some reason, you're not really sure where it's going to take you. And it's probably because it's just such a new energy for you that you're not normally used to. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull your, um, your Oracle card here. Okay. This is beautiful. It says big, bold vision. Something about a big, bold vision. You guys, you guys have a big, bold vision. Okay. I'm going to read you a little bit about this card. It says there is, there is something, a vision or an idea that is coming to you. Well, yes, there is. It's all right in your cards. You may worry that it is too much for you, but don't worry. It is meant to be yours. Although you might have some adjustments to make and some tweaking to do as you let go of your limited, limited thinking and open up to fearless acceptance of bigger, brighter, more radiant, radical, and more potential possibilities of creativity, living your light in this world, a sign that you are cracking out of your limited thinking to allow for big, bold vision to come to you. This is that you might feel a little dizzy with the shrinking limita limitations and expanding possibilities of life. You may wonder if you are allowed to access so much wonder. Remember that this is your healing and growing success. As you manifest the, this big vision, you can touch the hearts of others through your presence, your inner work, your art, and your choices. It is a win-win situation. Those that are meant to live big, bold, 
and visionary lives need to give themselves permission to break the mold and forge newer, more expansive perspectives of what is possible, what is permitted, and what is of service. It's about letting go and opening up. Others will benefit from this. Even though it is your vision, it is not just for you. You are being asked to remember that when something is right for you, endless synchronicities and support will flow your way and the right time and in the right pathway. Stay positive, receptive, playful, and surrendered. This oracle brings this message, brings you a message you are about to receive or or to or be invited to come to become part of a grand visionary beginning it has the makings of something fantastic no matter how the journey that brings this vision into reality unfolds and there will be some twists and turns that you don't see coming it is still helpful for you to be open to it Trust your heart, be still with your choices, and when the time feels right and, tru and, and truthful, leap. This oracle brings a message for those who would like to further develop their intuition and intuitive sight. It is already happening. Trust in what you perceive, even if it conflicts with what everybody else around you is saying or the surface of things. Trust your inner perspective, perspectives. They are accurate and will be pro proven to be so later on. This healing process below will help you with this also. And then there's this little um, healing process that you can say that says, I release all blocks to my vision. I, re I release all blocks to my vision. So you guys, this Oracle card matches your reading pretty much exactly. It really does confirm that because your intuition may be going to a new higher level. Even if you were intuitive before, you're actually growing into a new level. And this new level is so strong it's causing you to think, oh my gosh, can I do it? This is so weird. It's so different. Should I, is it okay to do? Is it okay to believe this? Well, it is okay to believe this. You are going to be presented with something new and you guys just have to accept it. If you want this passion and this newness in your life, all you have to do is trust it and move forward in your life and it's going to happen for you. Super excited for you.